Hello there, Leo. Welcome to your timeless reading. So this is whenever you have to come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. So let's see what's coming in for you guys. We have... I can't put these cards down. For some reason, I can't pick them up. We have the King of Potions. Ooh. So this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's interesting. A lot of love here. A lot of emotions. They're offering a big magnum of champagne or wine or something here. Okay, let's see. Let's get a charm on this person. We have... Ooh, a dragonfly. Transformation. I think someone wants to transform a connection with you. Okay. A lot of love here. And we have the tower. They might surprise you. The tower is Aries and Scorpio energy, so they might come in and surprise you. Something's going to shock you. And we do have the six of candles. They want a victory, or there is a victory. This general energy around you is some kind of victory. Getting noticed, getting um, attention here. Okay, and then we have... In the recent past, we have the hangman, Pisces energy. Could have been dealing with Pisces. Could have been waiting for a long time for something to happen. But during that time, you got a different perspective or someone else did on something. Okay, judgment. Some, yes, it looks like someone might want to come back in here with the judgment card. Something's coming back around or you need to make a decision on something. Okay. And also we have the chariot. So this is coming in pretty quick where you have to make a, um, this is a very, near future and then in the future here we do have the chariot so something's going to be moving here quick here it could be cancer energy here um that you're dealing with the chariot this is either you're moving along quickly something's coming quickly or life could be taken off in general or someone could be coming in quick now we have this strength card here leo energy there you are there's your energy so um, people see you as very strong there's also outside influences um i just feel like more than anything, it's like people see you as being very strong, very capable, very um, reliable. I mean, look at this guy. He's got an axe in his head. It looks like he doesn't even feel it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And the um, inner influence. We have the Queen of Candles. Oh. Okay. So this could be your card here, being the Queen of Candles. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think people are very attracted to you. You're looking good. You've got a, um, an air about you, a way about you. Let me get a charm on this queen of candles. And we have, ooh, we have the dragon. Protection, wisdom, strength. You're very strong right now, very powerful, very, um, I don't know, just very capable. And you are getting a lot of attention. Okay, so, and we have hopes and fears we have the ten of candles okay there might be a lot of burdens that you're doing a lot but when the tens come in that means the ending to that so some kind of burdens or something maybe you're able to delegate more of your um, responsibilities to others so that it won't be as bad okay now the possible outcome we have the ace of needles okay the ace of needles would be um, cutting out what does not belong getting uh, speaking the truth this is the you know it'd be like the ace of swords a sword of truth getting the truth coming in cutting out doesn't belong starting something new and then we have the five and you might be cutting out some kind of conflict some kind of um disruption that's a um gossip it looks like you're putting an end to it. i almost feel like this hand is going to poke this guy right in the butt there <laughs> but, but give it to him okay and then we have the knight of candles okay so we have the knight of candles which would be a match with your queen of candles so someone that's very passionate is going to come in for you could be another Aries, I uh, could be another Leo, could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And we have, ooh, I'm very lucky here. We have the uh, four leaf clover shamrock here. So this could be a very lucky time for you. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now let's see. Why do we have the king of potions here? What's that all about? So you might have two here, but we'll see. Let's see. The king of potions. What's that all about? The page of wands okay so you're going to get a message from this king of potions here uh, again aries leo sagittarius but i'm putting these two together it feels like it's very connected as soon as i picked up the card it felt like i was getting pulled toward this king of potions so this one's coming in a mess oh we have another dragonfly it's going to be very transformative i was coming in here two dragonflies it's a big one for the king and a little one for the page of wands okay so now let's see what this tower is all about Okay, what's the tower all about, please? Nine of Wands. Okay, either someone's coming in shocking you how 
defensive they are or how protected they are, or you're going to be very defensive when they come in because they're going to shock you and you're not going to expect this. But this is also, you know, you're going to stand up to them, whoever they are. Okay, what about the Six of Candles? Why do we have the Six of Candles here for Leo? Why is the Six of Candles here? We have the Emperor. Oh, yeah, you are. You might be getting a promotion or something here. Aries energy might be in charge, being a, a very prestigious position or be in a leadership role here, having a lot of control over something. It might be something new coming in that you're having control over. Or you could be dealing with an Aries that's coming in that puts you on a pedestal or, you know, admires your work. Okay, why do we have the hangman here in the recent past? We have the strength card. Okay, so maybe there's something, Leo energy again, yours, you had to have strength in the past to hang in there to see things in a different perspective. Maybe it took a lot of strength to do that. Or it could be dealing with no Leo. Now, why do we have, what's this, judgment? Yeah, why do we have judgment? Judgment again. Wow. Okay, that's definitely confirmation. Something's coming back around. Something might be coming back that you thought was long gone. Might be a person, might be a situation, might be a job, an opportunity that maybe you thought that you lost. It might be coming back in. Okay, what about the chariot here? That's coming in real quick. Now, then we have the chariot coming in soon. And that is Ace of Swords. Wow. Something's coming in and the truth is going to come in. This can come in quick. Now, we have the Ace of Swords here twice. So, you're dead. Getting, cutting out things, getting to the truth of the matter. I don't know why I'm getting stuck. <laughs> with my, I can't get my words out. Of course, we just, Mercury just turned direct. So I'm still feeling that lingering. <laughs> what about the strength card here? Five of Cups. Someone has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for something that happened here. They're really feeling down. Really remorseful. Okay, what about this? Queen of um, Queen of Candles. Four of Cups. Okay, I think someone wants to come here with an offer. They're afraid you might refuse it. You might really want to look at it. It might be better than you think. And I think it's this this um King of Wands here. I'm getting pulled this way for the energy. So why do we have the Ten of Wands? Seven of Cups. Okay, it's a burden to you because you have so many options. You have so many choices and you don't know what to do. So that's becoming a heavy burden for you. All these people want you and it's been such a heavy burden. Okay, what about this Ace of Needles? Four of Pentacles. Okay, someone's hanging on to something here. There's Someone might be hanging on to a truth. Someone may be hoping that you don't know, find out the truth, but this is saying you will. There is a, or they could be coming to light that someone doesn't want to let go of you. That might be coming out here. And I think that's what this feels like with this, um, knight. Did I say king before? Knight of candles. I called it a king, huh? It's a knight. Ah. And I'm saying here is, okay, it's a knight, but it feel, does feel like, I don't know why this feels more like a king though. But I guess because it, I'm not used to these cards. I bought this deck a couple years ago and I, I didn't want to use it. It didn't feel, it didn't pull me in until just recently. I love the deck though, but I got to get used to the, the court cards here. So this is a Knight of Candles. So the Knight of Candles comes in real quick and this is also Don Juan, Don Juan da. Ooh, comes in with a lot of passion. And this is, they don't want to get lucky here. <laughs> How the shamrock. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this? What do we have here? The five of needles. Oh yeah, the trouble. Why do we have the trouble here? This person might be trouble. Okay, let's see. We have here this count. Oh, ace of pentacles. There might be some kind of conflict over your pentacles, over your money here. Hmm. Some kind of argument over money, maybe. Let's let's see what's going on with this um knight of candles. Uh, let's see here. We have. Oh, you might be moving away. I don't know. I feel a very strong attraction between you two, though. It feels very powerful, but you might be moving away from this person or this person might have to leave. Oh, maybe they're leaving this conflict. For some of you, they're leaving this conflict and they might even be leaving money to come towards you. Um, yeah, because someone's leaving something here. Someone's moving on. I definitely feel a very strong pull between the two of you, though. Page of Cups. Someone's coming to love offer. Maybe an apology. Might be this person. Let's see here. Let's get a charm on this. 
And then we'll see what other cards we have. Oh, look what I have here. Okay, we have an elephant and we have a big heart. I think it's this energy here. Well, this person here has a lot of love for you, a lot of memories. They're coming in with apology. Let's see what we have on the bottom of this deck. I didn't even look. Oh, two potions. Yeah, soulmate connection. A lot of love here. Okay, so now let's see what else we have here for Leo. What else do we have? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Money's coming in for you. Oh, we have a broken heart, heartache. Uh-oh. Who is this one now? <laughs> okay. Okay. So this might be some kind of third party with this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It might be some kind of pain or heartache over some kind of offer or some kind of money here. Oh, we have another Dragonfly. Transformation. Holy moly. A lot of transformation. Dragonflies are always to me are just transformation. I also see dragonflies how they can fly this way, that way, and they're also supposed to be a connection between spirit and earth here. They have a very strong connection, and also how they're translucent, iridescent. That is showing you things that are very, very, um, very high spirit in this energy here. A lot of spirit energy. Okay, let's see. Now the three of swords could be. Uh, a third party where there's someone cheating on someone here but it doesn't have to be it could be anything outside of the connection that came in between you that could be family that could be friends we do have the five of swords here which to me always feels like someone's starting some trouble here and that could be in between a connection or it could be someone had an addiction or there's distance anything that could come between you now we have the nine of pentacles because you're becoming very independent there's a very balanced connection coming in but someone, I think it's this king, is crying over this loss. This, but spirit is coming in and helping here. I think this person, this feels like it's all connected. This, there was a third party situation that broke you up with a king of swords in the past. This person is thinking about you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. The empress. Now we have the emperor and the empress. And we have the Magician and Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. See, here's the Five of Swords. you got people trying to um, butt into your business. They should mind their own business. Okay, so now I put a charm in that. I don't have any others, right? Okay, the Empress. This is someone could you could find out about pregnancy. This also that you are manifest. I think you're doing really well with your finances or, or is coming in soon. That you will be doing real well. This is your ability to create whatever you want to create. Especially next to the magician. You're able to manifest. And this is one of the most abundant cards is the empress next to the um, magician. And we do have this independent nine of pentacles plus this ace of pentacles plus the ace of pentacles came out twice. I think you're going to, if you're not doing well now, you're going to be doing well in the near future with your finances and the magician is able to manifest so keep your thoughts positive so that whatever you think about you bring about you're going to be walking away from a situation that's no longer serving you it might be over here this pain here from this person saying i can't deal with this it feels like this person brings in some kind of heartache or or um they just bring you down is it, look at this energy on this side is all positive all good i mean this could be a this is a neutral card good this could be that someone isn't given just um just one person but i always see this card more of a positive light there's an even give and take because usually you have the scales in there and it has to be balanced and this looks like someone's given to someone someone might have been given too much you might have been given too much to this person because you have all this energy and they're in this energy that's kind of negative so and there is some kind of conflict here someone causing trouble okay so now let's see what the words are let's see what the words are so we have the first one is the knight of candles i really feel like it's more of a king their energy feels very strong very intense they might hold back they might be i don't know they feel like a king to me still let's see and they got this look maybe they just have a lot of people they're interested in or they people are interested in them. regret moving away Let's see regret finish reveal separate see someone has regret they finish something and they reveal they're separating from i think this person separate from this energy here whatever this five of needles is this conflict this 
this trouble. And they're going to tell you. They're coming to coming towards you saying, I'm no longer involved. Whether it's family members, friends, or a situation, or even a association with some kind of corporation or something. They regret what happened. So they're going to come and say, I'm done here. I'm feeling it's separated. I'm, but they regret they were in, even involved in that, whatever it was. Now, what about this King of Potions? We have denying never keeps the money love. Hmm. Someone's denying maybe they never kept the money and they love you or they're denying something and they're telling you to keep the money and they love you. Oh, sorry. Got to hang up my phone here. Okay, and then we have thought I had my phone off. Sorry about that. So then we have the Page of Cups. No, Page page of Wands. Okay. Let's see, what's the scoop on this Page of Wands? We have Healing. Forget Sex. <laughs> okay. What is that all about? Well, you tell me if it makes sense to you because we have a tower. Someone's going to shock you here. They're defending themselves. They're very protected. This is a message coming in from this page of wands. Wanting to heal this. I almost feel like when this person comes here, you might say, okay, we're going to heal this. Forget the sex. Not happening. Or I don't know. Okay, you guys put it the way it makes sense to you. Okay, now let's see. We have, let's do this page of cups. Okay, want, after, oh no, I don't know why. Okay, maybe after, that's a part. Want, pleasure, a part. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> a part, pleasure, want. Since you've been, okay, maybe, I don't know. This is like, since you've been apart, they want... What is going on? Okay, I cannot get anything out of this. There's memories. There's a lot of love. I think this person feels like they had a lot of pleasure with you. They enjoyed your company. And they want you after being apart. They realize how much they want you. I'm going to put it that way. You guys can do whatever you want with that one. Okay? And, oh, we have the Queen of Candles. Okay, let me do the Queen of Candles. I almost skipped that one. I try so hard not to skip these, but... I'm really not used to, I mean, would you think that is, it's a cat. Would you think that's a person, a court card? Okay. So it's hard to, let's see. We have here, expect, confuse, love. Okay. Well, here is, you're, you're not sure what to do here. So that makes sense. So you're going to be confused when this person comes in. You're not sure if you want to take their cup. So, that makes sense. Okay. And then let's do this King of Swords here. What's the scoop on this King of Swords? We have family, honest, thinking. Okay, this person is honestly thinking maybe they want to have a family with you. We do have the Empress here. This could be talking about a pregnancy here. But this feels like this broken heart. There's a lot of worry. This person, they must have did something wrong here and they blew it with you. And they want to transform this because they're thinking they really like to have a family with you. Okay, for whoever, you know, wants to have a family. It's not going to be for everyone, of course. Um, let's see what signs we have here for you guys. What are the signs? We have Pisces. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, a double Scorpio. Wow, that might make sense to someone. Okay, Cancer. Look at all the water. Taurus. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Okay, so this can be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Pisces, Double Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Now let's... I took the wrong thing. I'll take my charms and send my letters. Now let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters, and this is for initial first name, last name. If you get both the first and the last name, and you know someone's middle name, may you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own. We have P... T W T O D 
B, K, P, K. All right, guys. So letters R for you today are P, T, W, T, O, D, B, K, P, K. Hey, we got Todd there. Okay, now let's see for the names. Let's see what names we have here. What are the names? Okay, we have Ivy, A-V-I, Dara, D-A-R-A, -A, Kathy with a K, um, Sneha, S-N-E-H-A, Daniel, Kenneth, Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A, Clarence, Anetta, A-N-E-T-T-A, Roxanne, Hind, H-I-N-D, Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, and Rosemary. So I have here, okay, 13. There you go, guys. Those are the names. Now, remember, these are general reasons. They're not personal reasons. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. That really helps my channel. It really helps it grow, and I get to get this message out to more people. It will help them, too. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.